Oh, right. I've never gotten a good review on my course. I've never gotten a bad review. I've gotten stellar reviews. And these reviews are like, you've changed the way I think about not just dating, but everything. Because when you sit with a girl on a date, it's really hard to be in the zone. As, especially if you're a Chad, even, because you're not thinking of it as like a sports game. Or if you're a nerd, you're not thinking of it as a video game. That's why I make it an imperative. You don't do the Andrew Tate thing where you fucking wing it, try to look like a badass, because you will be tested. You need to think through her lens if you're checking the boxes of the archetype she wants. The, the one she wants, she wants to submit to something her animus approves of. Her animus will be every single <clears throat> experience with the males on earth. Father, brother, boyfriend, fiance, whatever the fuck. <clears throat> she has this angelic being over her that tells her, this nigga broke. He's not rich like me. And she goes, yes, divine father. Yes, yes. And men have this too. They have... Like, how many of you, like, men, I heard that men, when they work out, they think of, like, a hot chick, and they work out harder or some shit like that? Well, who the fuck are they thinking of? It's not an abstract form. It's, like, a fucking perfect, well, I mean, it is, but it's a perfect form of everything feminine, right? So now, check this out. If you're checking the boxes of that little angelic thought that keeps shitting on you in her head, when you're talking, she's shitting on you. If you're checking the boxes of her divine father, let's say, it's not actually divine, but you know, like she's ruled by this. That's all you have to do. That's all you got to do is you check some of these fucking boxes. You've never seen a clip of Zerka talking to a woman where he's not talking about status, network, and looks. I'm telling you this, I'll tell you this. You interrupting me is ruining your fucking faggot life because when I give advice, I am so anti-cringe. I'm afraid of giving cringe advice like all the other fucking scammers that I'm giving you gold. And I'm telling you this, when I turn this shit off, I'm not going to be live for a while. I disappear sometimes. I got shit to do. So you're going to be missing out. You need to absorb what I said about the female's animus. You need to understand this, even if you don't believe in Jungian psychology or whatever. You need to understand she is shitting on you in her head during the date because you're not adhering to the concept of a perfect male. Not that you need to be perfect, but you need to check boxes. Anima and animus are the yin and yang, right? The little dot in yours. Like everyone, for example, <clears throat> why men drool over Brad Pitt? He's got status, network, looks. So this divine mother, right? It's not your real ma. It's not Freudian retard shit. It's your divine mother. I'm using the word divine as in like, it's real to you, but it's not actually divine, right? This thought form, this angelic being in your head, this is what literally keeps you in a state of, I need to improve my life or she will leave me. If you have a bad relationship with this angelic being, she's going to say things to you like you're not, you're worthless. You're this. And that's what an insult is. An insult has an extremely dark shadow filled with the anima, which is anima is all female experiences they've had bundled up into one. Then you have someone like me as a Chad, where I had the bad anima with all the bad experiences. And then I got all the women that a YouTuber could get. And I still fucking hate bitches. But... I never have a bad relationship with my anima to where she tells me something wrong. So, for example, she'll tell me something like, hey, you disregard women more than any influencer that's ever lived because you're, you know, you're real about it. Don't change and they'll always chase you, John. Have I changed? No, I actually got worse over time. <laughs> but I'm telling you right now, that voice in your head is what holds you from approaching women and stuff. Because you have a bad relationship with this angelic thought that follows you around since fucking puberty. Even before that. But we're talking about when it starts to really bite from the fruit. And fixing your psychological state with your anima is huge. It's so much bigger than my dating course. Right? And it's not something that's like completely fixed. You tinker, tinker away at it. And I hate talking about this. Like for years why I didn't talk about it is... 
I'm not gonna lie, dude. The way I see chat is cattle. Even my chat. I've never in my life, like, for example, have you ever seen like an Aiden Ross or one of these f streams? Have they, they bring chatters on and you start looking at them like they're not even human. You know? I've never in my life put chatters or I've never seen an influencer. I think of the influencer as subhuman piece of shit idiot. Like he just doesn't know what he's doing in life. But when, when the influencer puts on the chatters, it reminds me why I followed the influencer in the first place. Because the, ch the average IQ will never understand this anima thing. They'll never understand it. And to me, man, you could have all the dating advice in the world. You're never going to do what I do. You're never going to be on a fucking some guy's live stream with a bunch of bitches and have them giggling like fucking hyenas. You're never going to do even a percentage of what I do because I swear to God, when I talk to women, I'm talking to anima. I swear to God, you can even see my eyes when I talk to women in a room where I, everyone thinks like I'm half talking to Chad, but I'm half having a conversation with, have you ever even heard me have a conversation with a woman that's not about Disney making her feel young or my status, network, or looks? I don't think I've ever had a conversation with a woman where I'm not in, intercepting her mind with status, network, looks, status, network, looks. You know what I mean? And you got to ask yourself, like, how many times, I love Heal Mike to death, but how many times has he had a conversation with a woman where he wants to promote himself, but he first does the small talk? And they, that guy gets a lot of women, but you can cut out the small talk. You can be way more direct. You can go, you can go right to the I'm better than you face. Like, I'm telling you. If a woman is ever mad that you face to face said you're better than her, I mean, what? That's like someone in chat just said, just rape. And he, George Floyd's fentanyl. That's his name. George underscore Floyd's underscore fentanyl. I know for a fact that dude is a huge incel, bro. That is crazy that instead of the good advice, you want to talk about this. Like, I can't, all I'm thinking about is rape now. Like, I'm off the train, bro. I'm off this. I'm off it. Fuck it. You don't want it? Don't take it, bro. Dude, I'm raping that chatter's fucking mom. Wow. Someone said most women have the same animus. Well, think about it. Most women... Oh, my God, it's Brad Pitt. Where did that idea come from? So, yeah. It's a collective. It's shared. Yes. Same with men. Love so, Zerka. I'm 19. I know what to do to make money, yes. kinda. <clears throat> but why the fuck am I so lazy? Listen, laziness comes from the idea that you're eventually gonna do it and you're eventually gonna get there. However, when you do eventually attempt to do it, you're gonna be a weaker version of yourself with baggage, almost like debt. So if you don't do something for months or years, <clears throat> that thing you're trying to do becomes 10 times harder. And you don't have the life experience to know it's going to get harder. So around 25, you start panicking and reading books and shit. Because you go, holy fuck, it took me 25 years to get that shit done. So you got to go learn the hard way. But that's what life, that's why I always say you got to, you know, listen to your elders and your parents and stuff like that. Because experience comes with this truth pill that cannot be bought, nigga. It, there's this truth pill in life where... <clears throat> Think of like sports and fitness, how hard it is if you're off it for a while. Now think of that for your thoughts. The cool thing about growing up and death anxiety and all that, that interplay in the collective unconscious that bleeds through into your conscious mind, right? The cool thing is a lot of people who never read and failed classes in high school, their brain shifts later in life when they're 25 and they love to read and they want to compensate for that if they have a healthy psyche where they actually want to improve. That's the cool thing, which I had no idea. It didn't happen to any of my high school buddies. They're all fucking retards. I love you guys, but fucking retards, bro. I could spin circles around them. When you put me on a podcast, I sound like a fucking genius compared to the average guy. And that's like, what, a couple years of reading? But I'll tell you this. I read fucking libraries of books. In a year. That shit can be done. You just stop listening to music and switch to audiobooks and fucking you're done. That's all you need. 
And I even passively do audiobooks where I'm not listening, right? I've never went back to music, I, unless I'm driving around town, and even then. But I'm telling you this, if you do not make that shift from retard, ch chad, jock, whatever, to, you know, businessman, oh my God, is the world going to rape you. The world is going to rape you. The guy challenging you to a debate, you don't even have followers. If you were good, you'd hop on a few podcasts that have 100 views and make them 10 million views because you're so smart. But I'm telling you this, bro. The average IQ is chat. The, you guys are animal level IQ compared to me. Animal. And even if you had years of reading books because you don't have the interest, you don't have no passion for it, there's no fuego, you're not even going to learn anything. You guys are so fucked. I'm telling you. But I'll tell you this. You read a couple business books and you sit on your ass making 95 bands a month. I haven't gone live in like 20 days. And I'm the only guy who doesn't scam. Everyone else is on one of those telegram scam cycles and shit. I don't even fucking scam. I sell real shit. Donated $5. The greatest shit ever is reading. I've on joining the local Rosicrucian group in my city. What do you think? Let's Stupid. Go. Don't do that. No nigger anymore donate. What $5. the fuck? Yo, we gotta I've ban these my guys. my girls farting in the past and I've told them I have a problem with it. How would you go about it? Beat her up. Attack her. What the fuck? Live up to the n-word, bro. You're supposed to be an outlaw. Alright? We niggas, we beat up women. I'm kidding. We're not doing that joke anymore. Actually, I want to say one thing about, um... Beating up women. Mint she donated five dollars and thirty cents. Man, fuck Check this. Check your DMs, cunt. I'm the LP11 born on the thirtieth. I'm live. I'm your greatest hire of 2024. I'll rewatch the I stream. I always do. Movement. I, I speak I'm through it. With Don't Jesus worry. our God. Plus, I'm the only one who can do Christian rap. Uh, okay, dude. Is I got two K views on a YouTube video. I don't care about clout, dude. When I say you guys got to be famous, I'm not talking about being a famous faggot. Everyone who's famous is a fucking faggot. I'm, I've never even looked up to... Who the fuck did I? Never. But check this out. When I say you guys got to be famous, I'm saying you guys got to get paid sleeping. And that's the only way is fame. Like, that is the only way. Is if people are going to your online shop when you're asleep. That's the only way. Okay? Other ways are not worth it, in my opinion. I mean, there's Facebook moms who sell fucking ginger in a jar and they make millions of dollars. You can't do it, you fucking faggot. All right. What was I saying? Yeah, I lost the train of thought, but uh, I'm not really here for a self-help stream. I think, I think I have so much free content online for you guys to change your life. If you just... <laughs> The, the problem is you're going to get distracted by the trolling content. Dates webcam donated which is too $5. much, man. It's too addictive. How to get rid of homesickness. The biggest... I moved out of my parents' house a couple weeks ago and already miss my family a lot. Oh, you what should them? I do? How, how do you not miss adventure? You're starting your process of individuation of fighting your dragon. That dragon you fight is for the next 70 years. You better get cozy fighting it, my nigga. Like... You can't be with mommy and daddy, all right? Another thing, if you're around your parents like that too much, they get anxiety, they grow old faster. They want to see a millionaire son. They want to see a millionaire son who goes like, do you want your parents? Bro, my parents used to worry about me, the youngest, the most, and now they don't give a fuck. They actually cannot believe the life I've built for myself because, uh, I mean, they're confused. They're like, does everyone at your follower count make this kind of money? I'm like, fuck no, they got nothing to teach. <clears throat> but they're convinced. They're like, yeah, no, everyone does. I'm like, no, they don't, bro. And Let's go, pal. I'm making a Bill Clinton's boner. I don't really want to talk to dollars. TTS, bro. I don't. Have really... you remote viewed Sean Ryan interview with someone in Project Stargate was nutty. Yeah. W, you know, fap stay strong, boys. No, I have not. No, all right. I only do what's worth it for me. Okay. And what's worth it for me is dream analysis, active imagination, and. 
even if it takes a week for me to understand a dream, I've never fully grasped the dream. You're never going to fully grasp it, but the elements of the dream that you need will change your life. You will not experience resistance. You will not... You'll do your work faster you once you understand $7. what's bleeding through Please you. Please keep talking about anima versus animus. Yeah. Also, what books should I read to figure out this life shit? Life path number seven. Christ is king. Mm, listen, dude, there's two numerologists in the game. The books are fake. I mean, it's just me and this Jewish guy I know. And uh, you're never going to... I mean, I, there's this one book uh, my buddy gave me. And it just talked about soul urge and all this stuff that's fake. Uh, if you want to know numerology, just go to just YouTube Pythagoras audiobook, anything, and you'll start to get it. A donated five dollars. Where do you listen to audiobooks? Uh, fuck. Um, it's the channel called. I think I've listened to every single Esoterica channel on audiobooks there is. And man, I went through a lot of the bullshit, but I always made notes on the self-help stuff and anything that aligned with the business books I read, you know, I'd stick to that stuff. But really, if you look into what developed me the most, <clears throat> the Bible, and then the Bible built a big shadow for me, right? So when you're going to God, you're going to build a shadow that kind of resents God. Hold on. Double underscore eight underscore LP donated eight dollars and eighty eight cents. Thanks, Zerka. You once said in a lecture that we should always have someone to look up to, and I look up to you dead ass. For someone that's early twenty or teens, how should we start and end? Oh, bro, there's so much content of me talking about early life. Like, go to my YouTube channel. The problem is, I'm the biggest devil and angel because I have the best life changing free content, but. You get so tempted like you're on Pornhub to click on the videos where I'm trolling. And that's the problem is I think 99% of my chatters are stuck on those videos. They're so funny. I even get stuck God laughing. The truth donated $5. Like the Besides monkey you streams and stuff. Sneeko, who would you recommend to watch to get women? Well, I don't think Sneeko actually, even when he does good with women, I don't think he can explain it well. And that's the biggest danger for me. I'd rather you guys read an incel who, who wrote a psychology book over... Like, dude, let me be honest. The biggest perpetrator of misinformation about women is Chad's. Chad's... This is how Chad's talk, bro. I'm not talking about Sneaker right now, right? He's got some good advice. But look at this. A Chad will tell you what worked for them. And the secret to that Chad's success is that anything would work for a chat it's you know what i mean say dbx donated five dollars i think you're a smart guy but be honest oh, you would be way further in business if you would not act emotional like in 2023 with hs why did you, you do that That was my biggest paycheck that was literally my biggest fucking paycheck ever i don't even have to fucking do anything this year and i could go to okay oh, si, i need a million right now I'll bring you, I'll bring you, what did I do with Prime? <laughs> the rape promotion. <laughs> right? I said my Fuzzy move, move moment will pay me the most. 55 donated $5. Zerka, did you see all being Curdy destroy Vucic Serbia president? Yeah, yeah. Well, we're going to react to some of that stuff in a sec. Uh, but hold on, what was I saying? Um, right. If a Chad gives you advice on how he picked up a bitch... Close your eyes and think how much was that bitch cringing before she let him hit it. The chads show you a win. And it's just binary, yeah, wins and losses with women. But in my opinion, when I look at a chad, I go, I could have helped you avoid a thousand losses that you don't platform and talk about, right? That's why the best part of my dating uh, program is I update it. And the best content, if you want to skip right to the meat and potatoes, go look at the videos where I critique my game. It's going to help you more than anything. I've never done this before. I did it two weeks ago and I was like, I've never critiqued myself because in my head, I never split the doing the jokes for content versus getting the girl. But when I started saying, okay, let's not joke. Let's speed run this pussy. 
Holy fuck is that shit useful. <clears throat> it's going to confuse you a bit too. So that's why you'll have a call with me to talk about that stuff. But I'm telling you this. Watching Zerka critique his own game. Critique it hard like I'm critiquing Sneak or Bradley Martin or someone else, right? Bro, that shit will level you up faster than anything. The kind of the DMs I got when I started doing this kind of content, mind-blowing, dude. It's... I had no idea how many of my jokes you guys thought I did it to pick up the woman, but it's actually just for the stream. So I have to kind of like separate the two, right? Yeah, no, no, listen, guys. You don't gain confidence doing it the normal way. This is going to sound so dangerous to say because there might be insults listening to this, but I'll fucking say it, okay? Oh my God. Double I mean, like 5,000 are just these little he donuts. $8.88. One month and six days of not releasing. What do you think are the pros and cons to NoFap? Oh, I'm, I'm doing a whole stream on that. But uh, what are the pros of fapping? Zero. Fucking idiot. Do you play better football if you fap? Do you do anything better if you fucking retard? Now check this out. What was I saying that was so gold? Anyways, we're gonna react to Putin and uh you, you guys wanna keep going with a little a little more of this back and forth. Uh I was fuck man, this is why I need to get it out is not even for you guys. It's like I like to rewatch just the intros of my the self help part of my stream and make it perfect each time. Right for confidence, dude. I swear to God, when I said I don't know if it was on Bradley Martin's or whatever, but I said all depression is self aggression, and when you start, not finish, not when you start your individuation process. It elevates some of the depression off you. And when you're going through it, not when you finish, I swear to God, the cure to depression. I always say God first, but they want the second answer. And the second answer, God wants you to have experience in this world and live your life and sweat by the brow, work hard. I'm telling you, you must be individuated. I promise you, Bradley Martin, Zerka, and Destiny, very different characters, do not deal with depression the way they used to because they are individuated enough to where people on the street know who the fuck they are. They've helped enough people. You know what I mean? And then I'm telling you, there's something that happens when you guys get the fuck out of living with your bros and stuff and go out into the world. And life is going to feel like a movie when you do. Every single day of your life will not have that feeling of another day you're gonna have that feeling of what's to come what's gonna what's gonna come to, what's gonna come my way it's gonna be this abundance mindset of blessing you hey yo bitch twitter.com slash jerk official hit me up hit me up do you like white people for sure build the wall let's go like the video hold on a man is talking shut the fuck up yo and think about this okay never say the n-word what up my niggas no 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 fuck that john stand on your shit nigga